Okay, there are no sandwiches on the menu this week, Mark, but we are going to be doing a Portuguese chicken recipe this morning. Uh, where about to just steal this one from? Yeah, Portugal. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is, this is basically sort of a, a Portuguese roast chicken. So okay. it's really, really simple. We're going to roast it all in a tray. We've got a whole chicken here. I'm going to show you how to break it down, put it into nice little... Um, Nice little pieces, we've got these beautiful um, red potatoes there which we can leave the skins on. You've got onions, you've got chilli in there, you've got all those sort of classic flavours. Mm. You've got sort of a, a sweet and sour sort of dressing over the chicken, um, oregano and um, dried paprika as well. So it's going to be full of flavour. So the Portuguese part of it is all, I guess, in the spices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so you've got nice. these flavours, yeah. Nice, mm. I can't wait to get into that. We'll be cooking the chicken up shortly, which sounds like the perfect recipe to warm you up this winter. Great to have you with us. We are here in the Beko kitchen, one of my favourite spots here on the cafe because it means food, it means Mark. And Mark, you're an Englishman and you were glued to the TV watching that royal wedding all weekend, weren't you? Well, yeah, would have been, but I was at work. Well, you'll, you'll, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the girls would have watched it, though. Dreaming of being a princess. I used to do that. Watch the royal wedding <laughs> or watch um, Peppa Pig. Oh, watch mm. Peppa Pig. Oh, really? Oh, that's a toss-up. There you go, Megan no, and I'm Harry. Sure, I'm sure yeah. you would have watched it, yeah. Okay, cool. Portuguese chicken, that's what we're doing. So how do we get this started? Right, so first of all, we're going to get a marinade. So we want to get lots of flavour into our chicken. Yes. So a little bit of salt, salt in there. Obviously paprika. Helps. Yeah, dried paprika. Yeah. So, you know, one of the classic flavours there. Got a bit oh. of oil there as yeah. well. You can start mixing okay, it all I'll start together. A little bit of brown sugar as well, so it'll okay. just help with the sweetness and it'll mm -hmm. just really sort of bring that sort of paprika out. You're right. And then we've got some red wine vinegar as well, and then that sweetness of just balances in the um, the vinegar. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, and oh, then it smells so good. Oregano as well, or oregano, right. <laughs> however you want to pronounce it. So that goes in there. So you can use dried. If you've got fresh, um, mm -hmm. that's really good. You know, get a big bunch of it, chop it up. You have to use a little bit more than dried. Right. Um, you know, whatever herbs you got, if you haven't got that, if you've got some thyme in there, it'll work just as well. Really good. Very good. So you, see, you sort of see now you've got a nice paste. Yep. Right. So that can go over there. All right, now we've got our chicken. So okay. I think we broke this down once before. Yes, we have broken it down. No, I don't want to do it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely don't want to do it. I'll leave it to the expert. All right, so, so we've got the breast, breast side up. Yes. We've got the legs here. So if you just sort of... Um, Move your legs a little way from the breast, mm -hmm. and you get that area there, and you can just cut down there. So you can do the same on the other side, right. and then you can sort of pull it all the way down, and it pops out. Yes. And you can see the bone there has come out, and then you go down here, and then cut round. Ooh. God, I haven't done this for a while. <laughs> <laughs> cut round, and then you can just take it off. Mark has people that does that for him now. Exactly. <laughs> this, and this is a good way to break it down yourself because it's cheaper than buying it individually, isn't it? All these little bits and pieces. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's a lot cheaper to buy a whole chicken. You know, yeah. I think it puts a lot of people off, but it's a, it's a really nice way of doing it. You know, and then we can cut through here. Mm. So you've got your thigh, um, and so you can leave it in big chunks. But I like to even, you know, put it down into smaller chunks. Okay. Oh, no, what we done? You want to take there. the bone out? <laughs> well, I mean, you can you leave can, it in if you want. You can leave the bone in if you want. You know, it just keeps it nice and moist and gives it a really good flavour. Okay. Um, or or not, you know. Leave the drumsticks like that, and then uh, you know we'll pop it in. So that's that. We've got the wings as well. So we're just going to pop it in there, and we're just going to coat all that chicken. Oh, this is looking fantastic. All right. So you've got smell this. Smell. You've got a, a central bone running in between the breasts. So you just want to find that, and just run your knife down the side, mm -hmm. and then you'll find the rib cage. And then just use the tip of your knife, and you can just follow it around. And this is the reasons why you need a sharp knife. Exactly. And a masterclass coming up soon. I know, I know. We're going to do some chopping, aren't we? Yep. No, well, if you if you chop right, then you just feel better about cooking. So, you know, we learned last time how to sharpen your knives because a lot of people just have that steel in the in the drawer and they never <laughs> use it. So we we taught everybody how to do that. You can go back and find the episode on three now if you want. Yeah, that's it. Right. So we're taking the breasts off. So at this stage, you can. Just trim a little bit of the extra skin off. You know, if you wanted to, you could take the skin off. You don't need to, um, but you can do. And then I'm just going to chop these into nice, big, thick chunks. Okay. So I want, I want this chicken to sort of, you know, cook all together. So you want to, the, the breast is going to cook a lot faster. So I want those a little bigger and chunkier. Okay, cool. Um, that makes sense. You know, the thigh's good because we've taken the bone out, but the drumsticks as well. We're just going to be careful of that because it's sort of a denser piece okay. um, of, bone, of uh, meat with the bone in. Okay. So... There you go. So pop Great. it all in. So that's all. Um, that's all in there. Give it another little salt and pepper as well. Mm -hmm. And then 
ideally a couple of hours in the fridge, you know, cover it up, put oh, it in cool. the fridge, let it marinate overnight, you know, it makes it even better. And that infuses that marinade into Yeah, the and you really get that all those flavours into the chicken, you know, and that's that you know, that's what's behind this dish. Brilliant, okay, looking go. fantastic. Yeah, and last week, Mark, you tried to educate myself and Mel on the art of knife sharpening and dicing, which I found was really good information, and I've been sharpening my knives before using them ever since, which has made a huge difference. But where I do get a little bit useless and well, you know. I just couldn't work out what to do once I'd had a sharp knife was into the dicing of an onion and you've seen me try to attempt that it just doesn't work so you're going to share some more skills with us a later on yeah you? that's it oh, yeah okay, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it so, okay, it's, so it's really easy so it's really oh, are you going to show me now no, no. Oh, no, 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 we're not okay, dicing. Cool. Whew. I was getting all sweaty thinking, <laughs> no, go. I'm not mentally prepared. Okay, cool. So this is the onion we need for our Portuguese chicken. Yeah, so we're going to pop it all into the tray now and we're going to bake everything together. So there's okay. another one, like a one pot wonder. It's not even a pot, it's a tray, one tray wonder. It's we even better. Um, so the chicken's been marinated a couple of hours. So mm -hmm. we're just going to spread it out on the tray so it's okay. not all clumped together. So it's got its own space. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some nice ingredients that we're going to put in there. So nice bit of red onion. So this is beautiful when it roasts. You get a really nice sort of sweet, crunchy, the, um, texture on there and flavour, um, but I'm going to leave it in nice big quarters, okay? And okay. we're going to pop them in. I'm mean, even going to leave the skin on as well because once it roasts, you know, the skin will sort of dry up and it'll just be really easy to pull apart, okay. you know. And then you get those extra layers underneath the skin which won't dry out, which you can have. Okay. Now the other option I need to know here, chef, is do you spread the chicken out so you can put the onion and the potato in the middle, or yeah. do you just? Okay, cool. You don't want to section it all off like a well no, 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 we want to all put it in. Um, That's something I'd do. All together. Chicken in this corner, potatoes in the other. <laughs> okay. Right, and then we've got the, um, we've got the red potato here. So we're just going to, just do it into nice little bite-sized chunks. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want it, you don't want it too big. So the whole theory about having this dish is, you know, we get everything, everything on the tray, we're baking it all together and we want it all cooked at the same time. Okay, and you don't mind me spooning this extra marinade over the chicken, is that all good? No, no, that's good. good. Yeah, you yeah, want to do that, you've got all that flavour in there. Fantastic. Some garlic cloves as well. You know, and what, what I like to do with garlic as well, you know, instead of chopping it up and crushing it and all that, if you do that in the oven, it's just going to burn. So leave it whole, leave it whole with the skin on. Right. And as it cooks, it's going to release all that flavour, and then you get these nice little beautiful caramelised little uh, nuggets of, or cloves of garlic, which you can just squeeze out, and it's nice and soft and beautiful. Brilliant. All right, so I've got the onions there. The uh, potatoes there, so you can sort of spread them around, okay, make cool. it look nice. A uh, little bit of chilli as well, I'm going to leave that into nice big uh, chunks. And we'll spread that around in there, you know, a little bit more heat. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's you it. You want the onions in there too? I'm going to put a little bit more pepper on top. And a little bit of salt, just onto, more onto those veggies, what we've just put in. Yeah, onions in as well. Yeah, this is good. And the good Look thing is, that. if you get your marinade done, as you said, a couple of hours before you need to cook, the rest of it's pretty quick, isn't it? Oh, very quick. How, yeah. how fast was that? Look at that. And then splash of oil over the top, and mm. that is ready to go in the oven. And a little tip as well, you know, about five, ten minutes before you pull the chicken out, you know, if you just drop some fresh thyme on there, or fresh yeah. oregano, or a bit of rosemary, boom, just lifts all the flavour. It's going to be fantastic. And then as it's cooking, you know, give it a little stir if you want. You don't need to, you know, be too, too pedantic, you know, every, right. every five, ten minutes, you know, just every now and again, you know, if you feel it's getting nice and brown on there, just flip it around so everything gets nice and evenly coloured. And what sort of temperature and how long will you oh, About 180 for probably about an hour or so. Okay, great. Okay. Brilliant, looking forward to it. Okay, Mark, it's time to serve up your Portuguese chicken. How has it turned out? Look at that, it's all roasted. So take it out of the oven and just arrange it on like a nice little serving platter and you can pop that in the centre of the table and serve up. Look at that, it smells fantastic though. With oh, that doesn't it, eh? No oh, cutlery needed yeah. though, so oh. mine will just yeah. look at yeah. it. <laughs>